The PlayStation 3 has come a long way, especially in America. Sony's console was the sales frontrunner across Europe and Japan, but Microsoft always dominated the US. But those numbers have recently started to even out. Microsoft still has the advantage in the US, but they're neck and neck worldwide with over 80 million consoles sold across the entire world. The reason for PlayStation's comeback is how they've improved their online capabilities and started offering exclusive content that people really want to play. First off, just take a look at the library. The PS3 offers an almost unrivaled variety of content, including almost every major AAA release from last year's and years previous. Grand Theft Auto V, Tomb Raider, Bioshock Infinite, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts. Basically, if it was released on multiple platforms, one of those platforms was the PS3. But Sony comes out on top because of the massive slate of exclusive titles from their own stable of studios. Naughty Dog's Uncharted series set the bar for what an adventure game could be, and they followed it up with the powerfully moving story in The Last of Us. The Metal Gear Solid series may have some divisive entries, but almost everyone can agree that the PS3 exclusive Metal Gear Solid 4 is one of the best. Journey and Flower, two independent games from that game company, push the boundaries of how to interact with the game and tell a unique story without using any words at all. Dark Souls may be all the rage now, but it started with the PS3 exclusive Demon Souls, which you can pick up for a ridiculously cheap as part of the PlayStation Greatest Hits collection. The family-friendly Little Big Planet put creation directly in the hands of players, letting them make levels using the same tools the developers had access to. And that's not even touching on the dozens of other critical and commercial successes Sony has had. And that success is going to carry through 2014 and beyond. Most multi-platform games are still slated to get PS3 releases. The brutally funny South Park and the Stick of Truth, the brutally difficult Dark Souls 2, the enigmatic Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, and plus one of the most anticipated games across pretty much every platform, Watch Dogs. But I haven't touched on the console's biggest selling point, PlayStation Plus. Unlike the PS4 and Microsoft's consoles, multiplayer and access to most of the system's online capabilities comes at no additional charge. But the reasonably priced PlayStation Plus subscription introduces cloud game saving, deep discounts in the PlayStation Network store each month, and most importantly, free games every month. So if you're on the fence about upgrading to a next-gen console, the PlayStation offers every excuse to wait. There's plenty to play until the next-gen consoles fall in price sometime next year, and by then, there'll also be a lot more titles announced as next-gen exclusives. But 2015 is still a long way away.